This is a recording from Osborne Books, Matt's Tutorial, Chapter 5. You work as an account assistant for Nixon Garden Furniture Limited, a company making garden furniture. You've been asked to cost an order for 600 deck chairs from a hotel chain and determine the possible margin percentage. Your colleague who left recently has started this quotation using a spreadsheet and you've been asked to finish it. You've been given the following information, direct materials, weatherproof canvas, 1,200 metres at £8.50 per metre, 3,600 metres of dowing at £4 per metre. Direct labour, covers are outsourced and people are paid £6 per cover. Frame makers are paid £15 per hour with a 25% premium of overtime. Overtime is classed as a direct cost. It's going to take 800 hours in total to make the 600 deck chairs. Out of that 800, 200 is overtime. Assembly staff are paid £15 per hour plus 80p per deck chair completed and it takes about 20 minutes to assemble each deck chair. Overhead variable production is £3 per labour hour. Fixed production overheads are £5,000 and the price per deck chair is £135. We've been asked to save the spreadsheet in the appropriate location with the name given and do the task on 5.11 quotation 600 DC, which I've got open on the right. We need to amend columns 1 and 2 to be bold. Oops. So bold and 14. Using a formula complete B4 and B5. So B4 and B5. So we're looking at direct materials. So I need to look at this to work it out. Direct materials equals open bracket 1,200 meters at £8.50 per hour. And then wood equals open bracket 3,600 at four pounds per hour. So B4, B5, and I need to fill the materials rows three to six, A and B. So three to six, A and B, light orange. I presume I've got to do the total. I'm just going to do equal sum open brackets and I'm just going to add these two up. Okay. Use trace residence to find the problem with the total labour in B11. So if I go to formula, click on B11, trace precedence, and it's basically telling me that I'm using this cell and this cell, this one's missing. So now if I double click and I go and add in B9, enter, and I use trace precedent, you can see there's a circle in all three. Okay, so that's done. Right. Using a formula to calculate the direct labour's hours in B8 to B10. So let's have a look. B8 to B10, and I'm going to need this information for the lat hours. So we're looking at covers. Covers equals open brackets. We know we've got to make 600 deck chairs. So it's 600 deck chairs at £6 per hour. Enter, which gives me 3,600. Frame makers, they're paid £15 per hour. And they're making 600 deck chairs. But then don't forget, they've got 200 hours of overtime, which is at 25% premium. So I'm going to go plus open bracket, 200 hours multiplied by 15 pounds. 
and I'm going to multiply that. Now I could do times 25% and then add it on, or I could just go 1.25, which will automatically add it on. That gives me 12,750. I now need to work out the assembly. So assembly is equals open bracket. And we're going to basically go 600 deck chairs. divided by 60 minutes because they're only working 20 minutes okay and then we're gonna multiply that by the 20 minutes and then we're gonna multiply that by the 15 pounds that they're paid per hour and then they get also an additional 80p for the 600 deck chairs so 600 now that i've done that i can do my brackets and i think we're good to go which gives me 3,480. Perfect. We need to color A and B 7 to 11 in blue. Using a formula, calculate the variable production overhead in B12. So the variable production overhead, let's go to my data, which is here, equals open brackets. Oops. Equals open brackets. And I'm going to go 800 hours plus remember 600 deck chairs divided by 60 minutes multiplied by the 20 minutes and then I'm going to times that by 3 enter which gives me 1014. I've done something wrong. Let's do that again. Equals open brackets. We've got 800 hours. We're going to add that to the 600 deck chairs, but we're only going to be using 20 minutes. So I need to divide that by 60 and then multiply that by 20 and then. I want to multiply that by the 3, which gives me 3,000. That's better. Fixed overheads are 5,000. Total estimated absorption batch per batch. So, give me a second. I need to do 12. 7 to 11 in blue, 12 to 13 in green. Using the formula, calculate the total estimated absorption rate per cost. So to work out the estimated absorption rate equals some open brackets, that's going to be my B13, comma, my B12, comma, my B6, comma, my B11. So it's all my totals. And close brackets and enter, which gives me 52,430. I need to. That was a total. 
got a thick border around the cost card, A2 to A14. Outside border, done. Format the cells B4 to B14. B4 to B14. To zero decimal places. I wanted a thousand separator. There we go. Zero decimal places. Using the formula, calculate the margin cost per batch. So here I need to work out the margin cost per batch. So equals open bracket equals sum open bracket, and I want to add up B six with materials and the labour and the variable. So as you can see, with absorption costing, we add up all the totals. In marginal costing, we only add up the direct and the variable. Which gives me 47,430. Using a formula, calculate the estimated revenue per batch. Format B18 to currency, zero decimal places. So currency, zero decimal places. And now I need to put in the formula. So I'm going to go equals open bracket 135 pound per deck chair. I'm going to multiply that by the 600 that we're going to produce, which gives me 81,000. Okay. Using a formula, calculate the expected profit. So expected profit equals open brackets. That will be B18 minus B14, close bracket, and that gives me 28,570. We need to use conditional formatting to highlight the expected profit in B20 in green with black. If expected profit exceeds 25,000. So I'm going to click here. Conditional formatting greater than 25,000. Then I want that to be in green. Not there. So I'm going to go here. Fill in green. And black font. And OK. And OK. And there you have it. This task is now complete.